Ani Lesbokan is a celebration of girls in love in Japanese animation. Yoshida, daisuke. We have nearly 100 members on the mailing list, all reasonably active, outing cartoon characters. <laughs> We're showing up in places like the New York City Dyke March, the Toronto Gay Pride Weekend. There are characters that are clearly meant to be perceived as gay, and we want, we want to talk about it. Once Haruka walked on the screen, it was pretty much all over for me. You know, anyone who look, could look that good in a suit and tie, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to ignore it. She's got the best car. Oh, she yeah. She rides a motorcycle. Got to love any woman who puts that much horsepower between her legs. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. This is a girl named Tomoyo. She is probably one of the youngest openly lesbian characters. She's about 10 years old or so. And then there's Hanano Saint-Just. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even describe her. She's too spectacular. At this point, still, there are very few characters that are openly lesbian. Many of them are implied in relationships. If two girls are very, very close, maybe even physically close in Japan, that's not so much of an issue. <laughs> but if one of them was to define themselves as being openly gay, liking girls more than men, that would become an issue. Typically in uh, girls' anime or comics, the lesbian characters or the, you know, potentially lesbian characters are frequently seen as being masculine. Very often you find uh, the anime lesbians taking on uh, masculine roles as guardians or protectors. There's a lot of gender bending. And sometimes the younger girls just simply think, wow, this girl is so cool, she's like a guy. She's so cool. As times change and as uh, things become more acceptable and accepted, there will be more openly gay and lesbian characters. As the third season of Sailor Moon came out in Japan, the director had told the actresses to act as a married couple, as a long-term relationship. Me too. And this was the first time that a lesbian couple was openly shown, and it made a big splash in Japan. Uh, when Sailor Moon was brought over to America, and they dubbed it in English, they had the problem of Sailors Uranus and Neptune being lovers. And in English, they changed them to cousins, which, in my opinion, made them far creepier and hard to understand because the looks they throw each other and the body language just doesn't work. I think that the idea of them being incestuous cousins is far more difficult to explain to a small child than them just being lovers. In Japan, they don't have any uh, openly out real-life role models. There's no Ellen, there's no Melissa Etheridge, no one out there making a overt statement. Really, anime is pretty much the only place you have to turn.